Hey everyone, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So why did I decide to take on the concept of perspective for this first blog series? Uh, I think it's something that's been pretty important to me in my life. Being born the way that I was without arms and legs, it's obviously I've had some unique interactions and experiences with people over the course of my life. Uh, even last week, there was a lady who came up to me in the airport and her first words to me were, this is so sad. I'm so sorry that you don't have limbs. And I, for a second, I was kind of taken aback and then started thinking about it from the perspective that she had looking at me. And, uh, it, you know, it, it kind of changed my understanding to a degree about it. I only interacted with her for a minute, but really what I tried to get across there was, was just, it's really not that bad. Like, uh, I'm, you know, really don't have too many, um, you know, adaptations for things. I mean, my life is pretty normal with stuff. Uh, I have, uh, um, you know, I have struggled at times, but like I, you know, really think now that this is the greatest gift that I've ever been given in my life. And it really, a lot of this thinking to me started with understanding the work from a uh, famed psychologist uh, back several decades ago by the name of Alfred Korzybski, where he, I hope I didn't butcher his name too bad, but he had uh, this quote that the map is not the territory, where, you know, as a, as a metaphor, let's say you live out in Phoenix, Arizona. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. If I get on a plane, I fly out to Phoenix and I bring along with me a map, a road map of all the roads in Atlanta, Georgia. And there might be some similarities there. There might be a similar, you know, interstates that go and cross through the city, maybe a beltway that comes around the city. But overall, the roads are going to be completely different, and there's no way I'm going to be able to go and navigate with, without a map of Phoenix. You know, we do this in our mind all the time. We, our, our maps are created, our perspectives are created from our experiences, um, from our, our beliefs, our values, our socialization, our, our families growing up, I mean, our surroundings, like so much of this. And we don't stop to go and question these things, to go and understand sometimes somebody else's perspective. Uh, for the lady that came up to me, in the airport, she immediately did cast judgment, like a negative judgment on my circumstance and situation without taking a second just to maybe step back and go and understand you know, what, what are my passions in life? Like what gets me excited to go and wake up and you know motivated to get up out of bed in the morning? Like what, where was my favorite city that I've ever traveled to? Any number of questions that could have been, you know, much, um, you know, given her a much different experience of, of me. Um, you know, that being said, I mean, we all do this every day. I cast judgment on people all the time where I have to stop and, and sit back and, you know, remind myself that that's not my place to go in to do this. And, you know, sometimes it, just taking a second to go and understand and ask a different question or interact with somebody in a different way can, can really, truly change our understanding, our perspective of a situation. You know, maybe this week I challenge you, if, if there's someone that you see that you may have cast judgment on in, in some way in the past, um, maybe it's because of someone's belief system, maybe it's because of someone's, you know, ethnic background, maybe it's because of their uh, physical disability, or maybe somebody's homeless, or whatever it is, whatever the circumstance is, just take a second to go and interact with them, and to go and talk with them, to go and ask them a question, you know, and, and just understand a little bit more about who they are. As a, as a human being. Because I think that when we do that, we open our minds to, to growth. It makes everything else better. Like It's a belief of mine, from, from my perspective, that life is about learning. It's about, um, it's about just growing as a human being and understanding things that are just you know, new to us. Like that is what I want this blog to be about. Like there are so many things that are out of contr our control in the world, but just choosing to go and learn more about people, about places, about you know, just different beliefs. That helps us grow as people, as, as human beings. I mean, writing about this stuff is helping me grow as a human being. Having the conversations with you, hearing your stories is helping me a tremendous amount. We help each other that way. So thank you guys for taking the time. Thank you for taking the time to share your stories. And um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about what we have coming up. So I, I look forward to, uh, to carrying this on and, 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 and learning more together.
So thank you guys and uh, look forward to next week.